so now we've got the Ely 4 shot 36 gram load. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Loophole Tracer sunglasses. Now these were released this year, 2020, and uh, you know I've been looking at getting a pair of them. And uh, they make different uh, models obviously in their new sunglasses line, but I like the look of the Tracer, so that's why I ended up buying that one. So this is it as it comes brand new in the box, so I thought I'd just open it up and do the unboxing for you. Since I've obviously got the glasses sitting in a carry case, uh, some information here about removing the uh, lenses and also uh, some care tips on looking after your glasses. So inside the case we've got a, a smaller cloth carry case for your uh, glasses and that's the glasses there. We've got two extra interchangeable lenses so we've got the uh, clear and also the yellow. And there's also a sunglasses uh, lens cleaning cloth. Okay, so a little bit about the uh, sunglasses here. They're made from a thermoplastic, so they're quite flexible, okay, um, durable and extremely lightweight. I mean, I tried to put these on the scales. Um, I've just got some uh, non-electronic kitchen scales and honestly, it, it hardly moved. So <laughs> I couldn't get an accurate uh, reading on how light they are, but honestly, they are just ridiculously light. When they're on uh, your face, like when I put them on the first time, I really liked how light they were and I also liked the width of them okay because obviously you know most guys out there hey, yeah we got pretty big melons so you know if you're one of us then uh, these are really nice for you so width wise you're looking at uh, just over 144 millimeters or 5.7 inches and uh, height on them is 44 millimeters or 1.73 inches but they just sit really nice and light uh, you know on your face so I quite like them anyway. Now the lenses on these are two mil uh, thick they're a um, ballistic rated uh, material so we've got the ANSI Z87.1 uh, plus rating on it so uh, as I did when I reviewed like NYX glasses um, you know that sort of rating says that it should be able to resist a quarter inch steel ball at about 150 to 300 feet per second but obviously in this review we're going to do what we always do here at Aussie Reviews and uh, really put it to the test so I'm going to actually shoot this with a uh, 12 gauge shotgun using 8 shot uh, from about 5 meters away and just see how they hold up. Now we've got the uh, diamond coat scratch resistance um, you know, coating on these lenses they've also got um, you know, your UV protection there so when you're out in the sun obviously you're not going to get those harmful rays coming through. Now they do have a uh, lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects which is obviously good and it is made and assembled in the USA. So price wise here in Australia you're looking at uh, $259 for the black pair. Now uh, there is also a tan coloured uh, frame and it's a little bit more $315 but it comes with like a mirrored uh, finished lens on it okay so you can choose whichever one you know best suits you. Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you the glasses, how they look on my big melon. So as you can see, they're quite a uh, nice, loose fit. You know, they're just not overly restrictive at all. And I just find them really, really comfortable. The non-slip uh, bridge here is really good, holds the glasses in place. So onto the review, what we're going to be doing today is I've got two different types of uh, shot shells here. We've got the Ely Olympic Blues, which is a 28 uh, gram eight shot. That's what we're going to shoot these glasses with to start with. Then if obviously they hold up uh, to that, we'll uh, use another set of lenses and we'll try to go right up the scale to a good field load here, which is the Ely 36 gram four shot. And we'll just see how that goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, shoot this out of a uh, modified choke at five meters and just see how this goes. I always get a little bit nervous when I do glasses um, you know reviews because you know obviously I am going to be shooting them so I just pray that it works the first time. So anyhow let's just see how it goes. All right so we got the Olympic Blues here the eight shot. We've got a target just here at five meters. Let's just see how it patterns. Okay 
So as you can see there, the wad's torn through the actual target. So this is going to be very interesting to see how these glasses stand up to that. Geez, it certainly made a mess of that melon. Up here, <laughs> I've noticed the frame has spun around and ended up in the uh, fork of the tree. Let's have a look here. <laughs> look at that. So it's copped a fair bit of the uh, shot there. Now I just gotta try to find where these uh, lenses are. You'd think they'd stand out a bit more being uh, yellow. There's one. Okay. Yep, look at that. Nothing's gone through. It's stopped a lot. Let's see if we can find this other one. Yep, there we go. Poor, geez. Hasn't <laughs> that copped a lot? Yep, and as you can see, like, that has resisted. I think we've got one just where my thumb is, where there's an actual break uh, right through, but I don't think it's gone through. So yeah, that's uh, quite impressive. Okay, so I've managed to kind of bodgy up the clear lenses back onto the frames. So let's put this on melon number two, and we're actually going to hit it with that 36 gram Ely four shot. So pretty heavy load. I honestly don't know how it'll go, but we'll certainly put it to the test. Okay, so now we've got the Ely four shot 36 gram load. Let's just see how it patterns there at five meters. Yep, certainly a lot of charge in that. Now let's see how it goes against the loophole tracers. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Didn't it hit that hard? All right, the frames are pretty much kaput. <laughs> yep. And we've got the other bit of the frame here. Oh, here's a bit of lens. Well, we'll look, look at that. Would you look at that? That is just unreal. That has actually stopped that four shot. Nothing's penetrated through there. There's the other bit of the frame. Uh, where are we? have to be over here somewhere the other part of the lens there we go how much is that copped yep look that's caught a little bit there and look at that it stopped it so guys that's unreal it goes to show that um, the ballistic rating on these is as advertised and probably a little bit better well guys I don't know what else to show you here um, I mean, obviously the glasses stand up to that. Um, you know, <laughs> pity about the rest of your face if you were in the unfortunate position that you got shot. But, um, you know, it does work as advertised. I like them. They're nice and lightweight. They definitely protect you from the brightness, that's for sure. And they just look and feel good when you're wearing them. So, yep, I don't know what else I can possibly do to uh, test these glasses, but I can't fault them. So we'll leave the review at that. Hope you enjoyed watching it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.